How's it Hunters? Welcome back to BSB ZA and you know I, I have to do this. I've got to try out the Aviator in virtual reality. It's the last time I'm going to be checking out any games in VR for the time being at least. If you guys are the type that gets nauseous, seasick, motion sickness, that kind of thing, you probably don't want to watch this one. But I am going to be keeping my head as still as possible during this session. So yeah, I've got this strapped onto my head, my big noggin over here. Let's load up the Aviator and uh, yeah, see how we do. Okay, so I am logged into the Hollywood Vet site. Let's go over to Aviator. I'm going to try and keep my head as still as possible for this because I know it is really jarring to have stuff move around. Oh, wow, this is, uh, this is a little bit crazy. I think we can close the chat over there. Let's try get some vets on. This is a little bit difficult to do with. Ah, is this not working? Can I get that bet on? Yes, I can. Okay, this better not be a big one. It was a 47 times. Why didn't I do this a little bit earlier? But wow, guys, this is uh, this is pretty incredible. It's it's a monster aviator screen. <laughs> you guys can see my computer and all of that down there. Okay, so my bets did get on. Let's try get this a little bit bigger. Wow, it's like playing aviator on an IMAX screen. I think that's the. The best description is cash out that one bit. Does that work? Yes, you can cash out. Everything seems to be working fine. This one seems to be flying on quite nicely. Let's have a quick look at the history. It's not showing a lot of history. That's quite interesting. Why is that? Ooh, look at this daddy go on. Come on. It's in ah, it's into pink if it flies away. We'll get a couple more bets on. I'm not really playing for anything. I'm not trying to chase down any big wins or anything. Just trying to see what the overall experience is like. And I've got to say, it is pretty awesome. I hope you guys are not getting too sick. I'm, I'm really trying to keep my head as still as possible. I want to move this bar down at the bottom out of the way. But I can't do that. Let's bet that one up. Let's put uh, 20 Rand on that one. I've got these two controllers in my hand that I'm using to control everything. Let's look up a little bit. There we go. This is really insane. I, I must say, I, I'm quite enjoying this. I really am quite enjoying this. This is something very, very different. Uh, I, I could definitely get used to playing avia Aviator like this. Especially when I keep my head still. I will do some movement, but I'll warn you guys before I do that. I think I can actually bring this in a little bit closer to me. Can I? Yes, look at that. It's even bigger now. The problem is you're going to get a heart attack when that thing goes flying up really, really high and you've got this big multiplier right in front of your eyes, like tempting you to cash out the whole time. I'm also going to, ooh, I'm going to have to move my head when the screen is ascending. Maybe I can just roll myself back a little bit. There we go. But yeah, I started with a thousand rand. We're not really keeping track today. We're just getting a couple rounds in. Can I type in the chat here? Can I reply? A little keyboard pops up here. Hi. Oh wow, it actually works. How cool is it? Let's take that cash out over there. Let me close that chat because that chat is full of scammers. I actually posted a video a couple days back saying that you guys mustn't fall for any of those aviator robot kind of scams. If this one gets the pink, I will cash it out. We'll see how far it, it, it goes. Ooh, do I want it 20 times maybe on this one? Am I going to be? Ah, I've got to be greedy. I've got to be greedy. Of course. Ra Rob's got to be greedy. You know how I am. Ah, oh, of course, man. Sure, too much greed there. Should have cashed out when it got to pink, like I said. But wow, guys, let me let me look around here slowly for you guys. Just look at this. I've got all the bets. This guy's betting fifteen thousand rand over here, and you guys can see my desk down here, and you can see the size of my my other screen. That's a twenty a twenty four inch screen down over there. So this is. It's like going to the movies and sitting in the front row or actually taking like a chair to the movies and sitting even closer to the front row. That's what this feels like. The problem is I don't want to move my head and that is why I don't think I can play this all that long. Just because of how it's kind of set up. And yes, I know my account details are showing. People are going to point that out to me. But yeah, good luck trying to get anything out of my account and never leave any money in there. Let's move in a little bit closer. Get a full screen kind of vibe going here. 
I know it kind of looks all the same to you guys watching this at home, but wow, this is just incredible. Hopefully we can catch another ca a cash out before I end this one off. The problem is when you're so close, you can't see the recent multipliers, which really doesn't matter all that much during gameplay. But if you're someone like me that likes to look at the round history, then it, it might be a problem. Try and get this thing full screen. I think I can make this even bigger, actually. Uh, I wanted to take that cash out, honestly. <laughs> that was one of those times where you want to press it. I'm going to try and make this a little bit bigger. I don't know, what have I done? I made it smaller. No, I don't want it cash. I want it bigger. That's how, that's how big I can make it. Yo, here we go. It goes up to my ceiling, basically. Makes me zoom in a little. Take that cash out. Look at that plane fly away. Get my bets on. So I'm hoping this, this video is not as jarring as my last one playing uh, Hot Hot Fruit. And it's so crystal clear. It's really clear. It's just the, ooh, I, I kind of scrolled there. There we go, I can scroll back. Sorry about that. If I look up, I can see the numbers over there. Look at that, beautiful. Ah, I didn't get that other bet on, sis. Oh well, that, uh, hopefully this one's not gonna be a big pink one. Okay, cool. And we'll play one more round after that. And yeah, I think this is a really awesome experience. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty happy I did this. I don't think this is how I'm going to be playing Aviator in the future, and I'm not going to be doing too many VR videos in the future as well. I just thought it would be a pretty funky thing to check out, you know, kind of combining the casino games that we all love with a little bit of technology. I think what might be interesting to check out is like something like Crazy Time, one of those live evolution games. I'm not sure how well that would work though. Let's take that cash out over there, 86 Rand. And these two little circles are my pointers. We're into pink over here. I'm going to hit this one. Ah, I was going to let it go to 20 times. What's our balance looking like? Hey, not too bad. We've only lost, what, 200 Rand. Not too shabby. Let's do one more round and then that's where I'm going to call it. Up it, up it goes. Where it stops, where it crashes, nobody knows. And there we go. But there we go, guys. That's been me playing the Aviator game in VR. What an experience this is. It's crystal clear. Unfortunately, I can't get the sound to record. Uh, so I'm going to have to obviously overlay some music onto this. But uh, I can hear the sound in my headsets or actually coming through the head. The kind of VR set I can hear crystal clear as well. Beautiful music. Everything about this is awesome. Except for the fact that you'll probably get sick after, after a while. But yeah, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Cheers.